far north Queensland is putting it on. This is beautiful. I'm having so much fun. I'm on this epic adventure and I'm driving part of the Great Barrier Reef. So I'm driving from Cairns to Townsville along the coast. And my first stop is Mission Beach. And I'm so excited because it's sandwiched right between World Heritage Rainforest on one side and World Heritage Great Barrier Reef on the other. And we're perfectly nestled between the two, right on the beach at Castaways Resort and Spa. Hi, come in, come in. Oh, I want to show you my room. It's all about the view. Check it out. So good. This is where I get to wake up. This is the view I wake up to. So good. Yeah, I know. Well, my favourite part of my room has to be my balcony. Check this out. How good is that view? See that island over there? That's Dunk Island. And the Great Barrier Reef's just a kilometre away. It's mesmerising, isn't it? With the sun rising and Dunk Island our backdrop, there's no better way to get a lay of the land than a nice morning stroll on the beach with James, who, like so many, came to Mission Beach and just fell in love with the place. This is paradise. It's a magic hour. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, you'll start to see the boats come out and all the locals and tourists will head out fishing and out to the reef. And Oh, what is that? It's like a boat with, boat with wheels. wheels. <laughs> yeah. This is sea legs. This is how we get out to the islands. Now that is a pickup. <laughs> that is that is that's, a good pickup. That's smooth, James. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. I like Have that. Have you ever been picked up by a boat before? I've never been picked up by a boat on wheels before. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. How yeah, perfect. It's a beautiful morning for it. And if you uh, keep your eyes peeled, you'll see turtles, dugongs, dolphins. Really? And uh, yeah, the whales are up here for at least three or four months of the year, so. Wow. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? I know, it's perfect. You must never get sick of this. No, you can't get sick of this. Look at Dunk, she's beautiful. Yeah, she sits proud amongst about a dozen islands out there. And uh, you know, they're all, they're all part of the one family. They're called the family group of islands. We're heading to the hills, winding our way past cornfields and farmlands, eventually coming to the rainforest in the Tully Valley to meet Ooh. another Caroline. No sweat! Sweet! I can already see why it's a World Heritage listed area and we haven't even started. <laughs> yeah, and it gets even better when it's we go along. Just a few minutes into our walk and it's clear Caroline's a woman on a mission, determined to uphold the stories of her ancestors who lived in these areas for tens of thousands of years. At every turn is a piece of vital information if you were to survive here in the bush. Oh, that open. Look at that. So this here is known as your black bean seed. So you'd grate it, make it really fine, uh, place it in your jowan or your basket, and um, you leave it in running water for about three to four days. By doing that, you're washing out all the poisons, toxins get washed out. Then um, you go back, take the basket out of the water, and you're able to eat the seed. I mean, how would your ancestors have known to do that? I wouldn't have a clue, but yeah. Clever. They've, <laughs> they've, they've found, they figured a way how to eat it. We continue our walk deeper into the forest. What's your favourite part about this? It just feels like I'm at home. It's just, you're walking here and it is a world on its own. So, seeing something different every day. So yeah, that's what I like about being here. As we head for the Echo Creek Falls right at the top, first, we've got to cross over this. Now spare a thought for our cameraman, Hi, Nick. It's nice and warm. Liar. I come across with ease and we continue on our way. A couple of hours trekking through the rainforest and we are rewarded with this. That is amazing. Pretty cool, hey? 
Wow, that is so much bigger than I thought. Oh, well, if you want to go for a swim, we can go for a swim, hey? Yeah, you're thinking what I'm thinking, C1. Yeah, I think so, C2. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It might be a bit cold, though. You know what, I think when you're in places like this, it doesn't really matter how warm, how cold you are. It's just all about kind of experiencing it and committing it to the memory bank. Yes, yes. All right, let's do it, let's yes, do it, come yes, on. Let's go. I think you always know when you've made a friend when you lose all sense of time. Together, Caroline and I take in the power of the Tully Valley, just like her grandmother and her ancestors did for thousands of years. Back in Mission Beach, we lap up life at the resort. And Nick and I enjoy a well-deserved lunch of fresh seared tuna and the most perfect glass of chilled wine. Come into seventh heaven. Seriously, good wine, good food, good company, good view, paradise. Our afternoon simply melts into holiday mode by the pool. Karen is my new pool buddy, my new friend. She is a Mission Beach local. She's got it sorted. She's living here. I'm so jealous, Karen Beach. What is it that you love the most? The scenery. There's always somewhere to go. Uh, the weather's usually good. We do the reef not too far away. Great fishing, apparently. Oh, really? Fishing? <laughs> Andy, you're my best mate already because you're taking me to do my favourite thing. Well, today, mate, you're going to see my office. Your office? Ocean views all around. <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. How Come good is that for an office? Come Up on, on hurry up, let's go. Straight from the heavens, we have the most perfect day to explore the Great Barrier Reef. And there's no one better to take us than Andy, who came here as a backpacker 15 years ago and simply never left. Caroline, I'm going to take you to a spot today I found about 15 years ago. And we tuck right inside a little lagoon, right inside the reef, on the outside edge of the reef. So we're on the weather face. Wow. But it's just about got everything you can possibly imagine to find on the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest reef system, stretching over 2,500 kilometres and home to over 900 islands. And Mission Beach is one of the closest points on the mainland to the outer reef. As our group heads into the water, Andy and I gear up. This is outrageous. This is one of my favourite things to do. And I'm doing it in my beautiful Australian back garden on one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Like, this is just... Life doesn't get any better than this. Oh, that was stylish, but you lost it. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't that pretty, was it? <laughs> we're on the outer barrier reef, and we're only 50 minutes from Mission Beach. It's like a little aquarium, it's just fish everywhere. You're swimming through them, everywhere you look. It suffered two Cat, cat 5 cyclones in five years. But we're still bouncing back. There's reefs to the north and reefs to the south of us that were absolutely smashed. And this reef actually would have got the eye of the cyclone. And I can only imagine that because we got the eye that the tidal surge in front of the cyclone lifted it high enough over the reef and it, uh, it survived. And when I came out after the cyclone for the first trip, I was expecting rubble. And what I saw amazed me. It was less than 1% damage. And now, as you can see, you wouldn't even know. Woo! 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 Oh, wow. oh, that was awesome, thank you. This has just been so magic and so beautiful. <laughs> Shall we go again? I want to get you back! <laughs> back on the road, we continue our drive south following the Great Barrier Reef. Our next stop is Ingham. We'll catch you there. <laughs>